basically since the beginning of Osweiler and my relationship, he's cheated the whole time. So when we were dating, when I was pregnant, before he came here. You mean to tell me this Asuelu was cheating? I would have never guessed. How do you forgive someone for something that they keep doing? Kalani reveals Asuelu has been cheating on her most of their relationship. Information she's been holding back from the cameras. Plus, Yara breaks down in tears as she opens up about her body insecurities. You're like, that's, uh, that's just something I cannot freaking cut off. <sighs> it was such a relatable moment. Don't be so hard on yourself, and I know it's hard. This is 90 Day Replay Travel Size, where I pack in all you need to know while keeping it light. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. There's more to the story of Asuelu's infidelity that I'm not ready to share it yet. All right, first up, Kalani and Asuelu. At the top of the episode, the couples go to a Kama Sutra class. And although Kalani is following instructions, you can tell she's clearly not feeling it. When's the last time y'all have kind of even touched like this? Um, a long time? Yeah. Got it. She looks so uncomfortable. The main issue is that I haven't had sex with Asuelu since I found out that he cheated on me. Like the second he gets close to me, I just am like, I'm closed off. Yeah, cheating on somebody is one thing, but it being a random woman at a bar, which resulted in your tongue turning white? That's a yeast infection. You have thrush. And there's only certain ways you can get it. So you either kiss someone here, or you kiss someone down there. Gives off irresponsible cheater, which takes an already hurtful situation to another level. Because it's like, wow, you really just didn't care. You didn't care. Hi, Dr. Jason. Hey, good to see nice you. to see you. you too. Asuelu, how are you, sir? Later on that night, she and Asuelu meet up with therapist Dr. Jason, and they talk about what's holding Kalani back from rekindling physical intimacy with Asuelu. When I found out what happened, I just like blocked off love to him because I'm afraid. You're afraid of what? Being hurt. Okay. So you're still dealing with the pain of being hurt and trying to move past that. What do you think is the first step to move past that right now? Isn't that for you to answer, doctor? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But I'm sure if she knew, she would have done it by now. I don't know. As the conversation goes on, you can tell how bad Kalani really wanted it to work with Asuelu. When I first found out, like I didn't care to have anything to do with him, but we share kids. So yeah. I know that that's yeah. impossible. So I have processed it a little bit, but I haven't fully processed it. If Kalani doesn't forgive me, mm -hmm. I feel like it's because I'm just a bad guy. And I'm not a good person, I'm just like a bad person. Well, do you think you're a bad guy or not a good person? I don't think that's fair. Asuelu messed up, and now he's trying to put the responsibility of how he feels about himself on Kalani. How are you going to try to guilt trip someone for not forgiving you when you hurt them? Hmm. They say when trust is broken, sorry means nothing. And as Kalani is about to reveal, he broke her trust by betraying her more times than we even knew. Dr. Jason said that I probably just need time, but I mean, I've had years of time and I still don't even forgive him for the he did in the beginning. What happened in the beginning? Um, uh, uh, from the beginning? Yeah. So basically since the beginning of Osweiler and my relationship, he's cheated the whole time. So when we were dating, when I was pregnant, before he came here, um, like what, three years into our marriage and then now. So it's just been this pattern. And how do you forgive someone for something that they keep doing? I wonder how she found all of this out. Kalani goes on to break down in tears as she describes the hope that's been lost in her relationship with Asuelu. I stayed with him because I was pregnant. I did it because I thought we would be together all, like forever. 
I did too. So like feeling my feelings just die. <sighs> hmm. When you fall out of love with someone and you don't want to, that's some ish. Also, to cut Aswelu a little slack, he and Kalani got married when he was 23. It's not a complete excuse for his behavior, but obviously he was not ready. Oh, There's no. awkward tension right there in the middle. So can we like hash this out so that we can have a really fun night, please? All right, real quick, Liz and Angela make up during girls' night after Angela exploded on her. No, bitch, you run your mouth and I'm not here. I'm, I'm not, not running my mouth. I'm not it. I when did I f***ing over f***ing talk to you? I will say that altercation has really helped Ed and I realizing how much that I don't have his back. I know to have oh. my man's back. And you were a big part of it. And I'm happy it didn't get worse than what it was. And Thank I know you. you mean well. I do, I mean well, man. Sorry, bitch. <laughs> I guess they're at a point in their relationship where it's like, hey, I accept you for who you are. The ladies also have some fun modeling lingerie pieces from Molly's store. It was such a cute moment, but when Yara's turn comes around. I'm doing the last, my lover from security. No, Tell me go to the last. I just don't understand. Let's talk about that. You start to see it in her face. Something's wrong. My parents, for example, always, always compare me to somebody different. You need to be a perfect. You need to be perfect. Growing up, my mom, for example, taught me that my nose wasn't so good, or they tell me that I'm chunky or something like that. It just hurt you. <laughs> but then I grew up and still thinking sometimes if I gain two extra pounds that I'm chunky, like that's... Uh, it's just something I cannot freaking cut off. I appreciate how vulnerable Yara was in this moment. It's something I think a lot of us can relate to. I know I can. Sometimes that voice from the past still pops up in my head and I just have to check it and say, you are the critical voice. You go over here. I don't have to listen to you. And actually I defy what the voice is saying. So whatever it tells me I shouldn't do, I do it anyway. And Yara did exactly that. She pushed past her insecurities. And she looks great. That's how you know, that voice lies. That voice is a liar. It really tries to stop her from being in the moment and having a good time. Show me the ass. Okay. How do you feel? Okay. I feel good. I really feel good. And I you really should. like the outfit. It fits you like a dream. When I finally put a lingerie off, I do feel sexy. I do like myself, but then sometimes I have my moments. And since I'm here, I need to work on my confidence and not let nobody tell me that I'm maybe not good enough or something like that. All right, 90 Day Fans fam. Remember, if that voice comes up this week, push past it just like Yara did. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.